Okay, so the next speaker is Dr. Takayuki Osogami from IBM Research Tokyo. So the title is Dynamic Determinantal Point Process. So please. Thank you very much. So I want to use uh, another title, and this is going to be uh, the new title. And uh, so this talk is going to be about diversity. So we want to see some di diversity in the set of items that are recommended to us. For example, these are the, the images that we, uh, that we find by searching tr trunk with uh, Google Image Search. And these are the top 10 uh, the results. And this is the, the result given by Bing. So you can see that, that all of the images are, are relevant to trunk, but they're, they're not so much of, of diversity. Maybe uh, Google has uh, some more <coughs> diversity because uh, it shows uh, an image of a uh, uh, luggage space of a car, which is a, 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 a one type of trunk. But all of, all of the other images are trunk are as a box. But you can have more diversity. For example, uh, this is a, a trunk, which is a, a main stem of a tree. And uh, this uh, trunk image is a uh, men's underwear trunks. And this trunk image is an uh, uh, elephant nose. You might be able to come up with many other kinds of trunks, but uh, you probably do not expect that uh, there exist things like uh, a trunk hotel and trunk uh, coffee bar. So diversity is also important in some of the team sports, like basketball. So here, a uh, white team is defending a diverse uh, set of areas. And this is called the zone defense. And here, uh, the blue, a blue team is defending against a diverse set of players of, uh, of, of a white team. And this is called man-to-man -man defense. So that diversity also seems to matter, matter in uh, soccer games. So the, the video with uh, the green field uh, is a uh, it's from a simulation league of Lo Lobo Cup Saka. So it shows the tra trajectory of the play players. And this, uh, the other vi video with the black, uh, black background is a trajectory of play uh, human players in J, J League, which is a top uh, professional soccer league in, in Japan. So it seems that the diversity of the, of the position of players seems to be some, some importance in, in soccer games. And also that uh, when uh, there is some major event in, in soccer, some important event happens, that the di diversity seems to change a, a lot. So people have been uh, studying uh, to, to, uh, a way to uh, model and, and learn such di diversities uh, using determinant of point process. So determinant of point process is, uh, or DPP, is a stochastic model which assigns probability to a subset of items in, in a gr ground set. So, in particular, uh, so speci specifically, uh, this uh, determinant point process uh, can be characterized by a kernel, which is uh, a positive semi-definite uh, mat matrix L. So, DPP assigns uh, a probability to a subset X using this uh, using the principal submatrix of uh, a kernel. This uh, this sub submatrix is indexed by the items items in the uh, in the subset like this. So this is uh, uh, the principal submatrix, and use the determinant to define the probability. probability. So one uh, important characteristic of, of this uh, D D of the DPP is this uh, it's in this part partition function. So this is a summation over all of the subset. So which is uh, we, uh, so it, so there are uh, two to the n uh, two to the n number of subsets when we will have uh, n n items in, in the ground set. And this uh, partition, fun partition function is, si is simplified to just the determinant of the kernel plus uh, identity matrix, which can be computed in uh, cubic time instead of uh, the exponential time. So to, to understand uh, how uh, uh, the, 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 the diversity is captured in determinant of point process, uh, let's uh, look, at this, look at this big picture. So here we define uh, uh, a matrix V using uh, consisting of a feature vector of I items. So these, are the, uh, so, so these are the feature vectors of item one, and this is a feature vector of item two, and, and so on. So uh, if you uh, define a V times a V transpose, uh, it, it becomes a, a, it becomes a, a positive semi-definite matrix. So it can be used as a kernel in, in, in the DPP. So let's say that uh, uh, our subset is, is consists of uh, three items, item one, two, and, and three. And then 
this uh, principal submatrix uh, Lx is given by uh, Vx, Vx transpose, where Vx is just uh, this, 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 this matrix. And then uh, the, uh, the, the, the square root of the determinant of Vx, v, Vx transpose, uh, which is a determinant of uh, Lx, is, uh, corresponds to the volume of the parallel, parallel pipe bit. Uh, pipe bit uh, is uh, spanned by th these three uh, I uh, uh, feature vectors of, of, the, of the items. So we're going to use these uh, ideas from, uh, from the determinant point process to, uh, to, to, mm, to learn some, some of the diverse set of actions in multi-agent reinforcement learn learning. So there are many uh, algorithms for reinforcement learning, but uh, in this talk, so we, we're going to consider a very simple uh, algorithm called SALSA. In SALSA, uh, we try to uh, estimate this uh, action value function, which is also uh, called a Q function. So Q function takes uh, a, a pair of state and action and gives uh, a real value. And this real value represents a cumulative reward that we can get by uh, taking action A at state S and follow in following some, uh, uh, some policy under consideration. SALSA is an, an own policy uh, algorithm, so which means that the, the, policy is, uh, the policy under consideration is used to, uh, to, f to choose an action A. And th this policy can be gradually updated depending on, on the experiences, uh, that, uh, experiences so far. So far. This TD is a temporal difference error. It, uh, it is a difference between two, uh, two ways of estimating the cumulative reward, reward from time t. So Q as ST80 is just uh, the, the direct estimate, but uh, this uh, RT plus one plus low uh, Q. It, this is uh, another way to estimate uh, the cumulative reward from time, time t. So this is an immediate uh, reward uh, after you, you, af you, you get after taking action A, AT at, at, at ST. And this is your another, another estimate uh, that you uh, estimate the cumulative reward that you get from the time t, t plus one. Rho is just on the discount factor. So SASA tries to uh, minimize this uh, mi minimize this uh, TD error. In most practical settings, uh, it is uh, in, in it is infeasible to uh, to estimate this Q, Q function in, in uh, as a table. So a popular approach is to use a functional approximator, like a deep network, to approximate this uh, Q, Q function. And when, you, when we use this uh, functional approximation, uh, our, uh, the update rule looks like this. There are some uh, convert issues uh, with convergence, but we don't have to uh, address this uh, issue in, in this talk. Right. So we propose to use a determinant of, of a principal submetrix uh, to approximate the Q functions. Particularly in, in the case of uh, in the case of, uh, of multi-agent reinforcement learning. So uh, our our box, so we use this uh, kind of uh, this type form of function, which, which involves a log determinant of uh, a matrix, to approximate the, the action value fun function. So here L is is a uh, is a kernel, uh, a positive set semi-definite matrix similar to uh, the determinant point process. And we d we use uh, we, d we define some uh, binary feature of a uh, vector of bin binary feature vector of state action pair. So yeah, so st ad are mapped to some binary vector. And then uh, this uh, l l x t is is uh, is it's gonna be a principal submatrix uh, indexed by the, the the elements that are one in x t. So let's look at an example. So this example is, this task is called a blocker task. And uh, so here we have an, an, a team of agents, a, a team of attackers. And uh, we want to, con we have a central co control over, over, over these uh, attackers. And the goal, go and the goal of, of, of the attacker team is to let one of the agent reach the bottom row here. And there are also uh, blockers, uh, B1 and B2, and they, they try to block the, these uh, attackers. So when attack so, so when uh, one of the attackers reach the, the bottom row, we get an, an a reward of plus one, and, and uh, for e every other steps for for uh, for every step, uh, we have a cost of of uh, minus one. So for this particular task, uh, we ca we can use this uh, simple uh, binary feature as a pair, a 
this uh, so xd is a uh, is a uh, feature vector of state and uh, action and state here is uh, just a position of the uh, the position of of the, these these uh, attackers so which uh, space is o occupied by the, those agents and then uh, action so each a a each attacker can can move up just one uh, one step um, uh, up down or right and left and so we because this uh, environment is uh, deterministic in terms of the, the in terms of the, uh, the positions of the attackers uh, we can use uh, the, the next state uh, which is the uh, after taking the action we, we have this uh, we, we, we this uh, the state moves to this st plus one and this state can be represented as at seven times uh, seven times uh, three uh, dimensional binary vector so we will come back to uh, this uh, ex example again. So in determinant, so in in the proposed uh, determinant determinant of salsa algorithm, we uh, we need uh, to we need in in salsa we need uh, to find we need this uh, we need to compute the gradient of the q q function. So we need uh, the gradient of the log determinant of this uh, matrix. We also want to make sure that the L is positive semi-definite. And to, to, to make sure that L is positive semi-definite, we, uh, we use, uh, we express our L as a V, V transpose. And then uh, Lx be becomes uh, L Vx times Vx transpose, where Vx is a submatrix of, uh, of V consisting of the rows of uh, V, uh, which are indexed by the uh, items in th that are one in X, like this. And then we can show that the, the gradient uh, of the log determinant of Lx uh, with respect to uh, Vx is just a uh, uh, pseudo inverse of Vx transpose times 2. And uh, you, you can also derive the other gradient in, uh, in a straightforward manner. So we have applied this uh, determinant of Sasa to uh, uh, the previous uh, blocker task and, and find that it. Uh, so, uh, and this shows the average reward per, uh, per uh, action for every uh, for, for 40,000 uh, steps. And uh, these are shown, so this is from the prior work, uh, which, uh, and, and these uh, baseline methods can uh, also have the, uh, uh, the ability to deal with a high dimensional uh, action space. So, did, uh, so these are shown in, in the same scale, but uh, if you uh, magnify the, the first period, we, we can see that the, this determinant of Sasa uh, converges uh, or finds nearly optimal, uh, nearly optimal policy 10 times faster than these uh, baseline methods. Well, it's good to see a good performance, but uh, uh, we, we find, I think uh, it is what is more interesting is that uh, we can uh, understand what we learn from by this uh, determinant of Sasa. So actually, this uh, kernel can be decomposed into a uh, quality score like this, and the similarity ma ma major. So after uh, the reinforcement learning is completed, we looked at this uh, quality score and the similarity ma major. And this is the, the quality, uh, quality score that we uh, that the, uh, the uh, determinant the salsa learned. So we can see that the, these are the positions. Uh, these uh, positions have high high values. And these are the positions where the, the attackers can go can move to the, the bottom row uh, in one step. But learning only this uh, qu uh, quality score is not uh, sufficient because then uh, all of the agents can, can go to uh, this uh, one, the same position and then blocked by this uh, blocker. So the determinant of SASA also learns the similarity between positions. Uh, and th this is the, uh, the simil similarity uh, ma ma matrix. For example, uh, the position two one, which is the second row first column, is uh, similar. Is found to be similar to uh, one one, which is the first first column uh, for first row. So uh, the positions that are close to each other in uh, geometrically are found to be uh, have found to be as uh, similar to e each other by determinant of Sasa. But but uh, we found this uh, similarity uh, by just. Uh, but just from the experiences of, of taking the actions and observing the state and, and reward. No ge ge geometrical information is, is given. Okay, so now I, I want to uh, talk a little bit about uh, some of the ext extensions uh, of this uh, mm, determinant of SARS. So specifically, we want to consider, uh, we want to uh, uh, deal with partially observable environment where we cannot observe the, uh, the Malgovian state. 
So in this case, the best action uh, can depend on the, all of the prior history of your observations, where observation can include your own action and, uh, and the, the rewards that you have received. So now uh, our Q function uh, de can depend on the, on the history. And, 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 and so to take into account the, his the history, we, our, our kernel is now uh, changes o o over time. So if you find that this uh, particular form of a kernel has, uh, is, uh, has a nice property for computational purposes. So here V is just an arbitrary matrix, but D, we define DT, uh, but, uh, uh, oh, okay, so, so V is an arbitrary matrix, but uh, we assume that it stays, uh, it, yeah, it stays unchanged. And DT is a di di diagonal ma matrix with positive, positive elements. So uh, it needs to be positive, uh, po uh, the elements of this uh, DT needs to be positive to make sure that the uh, LT is po positive and semi definite. So that's why we have this uh, vector VT is exponentiated here. So you can use any time series model, uh, uh, which uh, should probably be differentiable, but we can use any uh, uh, differentiable time series model to, to, uh, to define this uh, DT. So this uh, time series model should map the history into some uh, real, real values. I'm going to give more intuition about uh, what this, uh, this uh, DT means. And now uh, we also uh, change a little bit, and uh, now A, a should represent a, a feature vector of, 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 of an action. And this feature vector of action is used to, uh, to define this principal submetrix instead of a feature vector of a state action pair. So this, becomes, uh, this definition is important when we are consider uh, sampling from a high dimensional space. So why this is a reason for this particular form of the kernel, this is, is, uh, is a reasonable form. <coughs> so, we, so, so consider the special case where V is just an identity ma matrix. And then uh, this LT is reduced to this uh, diagonal, dia diagonal matrix. And we assume that uh, A is uh, a binary vector indicating that, uh, which actions were taken by, by, by the agents. So uh, when a i is one, which, 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 which means that the one of the agents took the action i. And then uh, our Q function looks like, like this, which is just an inner product of uh, a and dt. So this means that uh, uh, this uh, uh, the action value function is just a sum of the value of actions taken by the, by, by the agents. And dt represents the value of e e each action. So this is special case reduces to uh, the, the standard case where we do not take into account the, the diversity. So uh, we can derive the, 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 the learning, uh, learning rule uh, based on salsa uh, in, a, in a straightforward ma manner. So for example, the local determinant of uh, the, the gradient of, of this uh, Q function is now looks like this, which is the same, same as the previous case. And uh, we, we can derive the, the gradient for the other parameters uh, in a st straightforward manner. So what I haven't talked about so far is uh, how you choose uh, actions in determinant of salsa. The standard, uh, two of the standard approaches are epsilon greedy and, uh, and Boltzmann exploration. So epsilon, epsilon greedy choosing an action uh, uniformly at random with probability epsilon and choose the best action uh, with, uh, with the uh, other probability. And, it, and this epsilon greedy uh, 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 method is becomes intractable for when we have a large action space which uh, which uh, has uh, exponentially many actions S and uh, another uh, approach is Boltzmann exploration which take uh, which t uh, try to take uh, take choose an action having high pro ha having high high value with high probability specifically with uh, this uh, Boltzmann distribution and here bet beta is called uh, inverse uh, the inverse temperature so, we, so, uh, so when this uh, inverse temperature is one, this Boltzmann exploration with determinant of salsa is reduced to a sampling from a determinant point process. So, yeah, so we, we can, we, uh, the probability of taking the action is just uh, exactly this, this. So there exists uh, some standard uh, uh, sampling method for determinant point process, and it runs in time uh, order n times k cube, 
N is the, the dimension of F or for the action, and the K is the number of ones in the sample A. So it, it is at the most uh, N to the fourth time. There are also more sophistic sophisticated algorithms that is uh, more efficient than this standard one. And also uh, there are some also uh, efficient, much more efficient al algorithm that takes uh, advantage of some particular structures in, in the kernel. But uh, unfortunately, both my exploration with determinant of SASA is not quite tractable for the general case when uh, the, the inverse temperature is not one. But uh, we can use our uh, various heuristics for more exploration uh, or more expo exploitation than the, the unit temperature case. If you want to be more expo expo exploratory, we can do something like this. So we, we can choose an action uniformly at random with probability epsilon and to uh, and, and sample an action according to our determinant point, point process with probability one minus epsilon. So as you uh, make epsilon larger, you can be more uh, exploratory. exploratory. Or if you want to be more ex exploitive, or you, 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 uh, if you want to be more greedy, uh, you, you can do something like this. Take, uh, choose uh, M actions according to a DPP uh, independently, and choose uh, the best uh, action among these uh, sampled uh, uh, actions. So as you increase uh, the, val uh, the value of M, you can be uh, more, more, more uh, exploratory or greedy. If you want to be more uh, exact, if you want to do more exact Boltzmann exploration, you can also do a uh, uh, Markov chain Mont Monte Carlo. So here you, uh, you can just uh, initialize uh, your action and repeatedly re replace action uh, with a new action with this uh, probability. <coughs> it's a standard uh, MCMC method. So, uh, but uh, this, uh, here you need to compute this uh, determinant, but this can be uh, made e e even more efficient. Uh, but if you, uh, if you choose your new action to differ from the previous, previous, previous action only by only one, one bit. And then uh, the determinant of LTA prime can be computed from the determinant of the previous uh, uh, action using a rank one update, rank one update techniques. Okay, so here is an uh, example of uh, partially observable settings where we have a, a, a large action space. <coughs> so we here, so here we, we uh, this uh, this is a quite artificial setting, but it consists of, uh, it, uh, the action space con con uh, contains two to the n possible actions. The state space has the same uh, space as the uh, uh, actions, and when action matches the state, uh, it, it's a ma ma uh, but, but, but the state is hidden. And when uh, the action matches the state, and you, you get a reward of 10 uh, plus 10. And then this is a hidden state transition. Uh, so this is an example. So if we applied this uh, determinant of SASA uh, uh, for partially observable case to this uh, stochastic uh, po policy task. So if in, in, in so so 10 is the, uh, the the theoretical limit where we, we where you always choose the right right uh, uh, actions. And our de uh, determinant of SASA uh, finds this annually optimal op policy in some reasonable time. And these are the base rate methods. They find uh, uh, the optimal, nearly optimal uh, history independent policy, Markovian policy. But they are not uh, cap uh, capable of this, uh, they are not capable of dealing with this partial ob observability. So this is ma the, ma the maximum that they can get. Uh, so let me uh, summarize my, my talk so far. So, uh, so we consider the multi-agent uh, reinforcement learning setting. So uh, even in the simple case, in the even in the simple case where we have a central central control over all all of the agents, we have a difficulty of dealing with a combination of, of our actions, and also uh, we knew, uh, and some of the difficulty in in dealing with the diversity in, in actions. So if you choose uh, the, uh, the standard approach of uh, defining the value of action as the value of uh, the sum of the value of individual actions, you are, you, you are just ignoring the, the diversities in, in your actions. So our determinant of SASA uh, uh, considers both relevance and diversity by, de uh, by defining the, the, the value as a log determinant of a matrix. And it allows efficient sampling. Uh, it might be uh, some approximate, but uh, and, and this uh, efficient sampling is uh, is related to uh, a sampling with a uh, determinant point process. So, 
I don't have much time left, but I want to switch uh, the gear a little bit and uh, uh, talk uh, briefly talk about uh, some of our, our work that, that is done for time series learning instead uh, instead of, of uh, reinforcement learning. So, so far, our, our update tool for of Salsa uh, looked like this. It is, uh, the parameters are updated using this uh, update rule. So, so it involves, uh, uh, involves uh, the gradient of the log determinant of uh, a matrix, where the, the size of the matrix is, uh, is the number of ones in X. But if you want to in, uh, maximize the log likelihood of, of, of the given sequence of your sub subset, and this is uh, 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 the uh, update rule that you get, uh, based on, uh, and this is based on the, your stochastic gradient method. And here you need to deal with this uh, uh, partition function, which is not exponential, but uh, it, it, it is much, much It can be much larger than this uh, this m m matrix. <laughs> so. We assume that the L has, that the, the kernel has low rank. And then uh, we can use this ni nice property that the determinant of VV transpose is equal to the de determinant of, of this one. And here the size is reduced from uh, n times n to k times k, where k is the, the rank of, of the ma matrix. And using this, uh, prop uh, using this uh, property, we, uh, we uh, propose a, a new algorithm, uh, which uh, it looks like this and runs uh, more efficiently than the previous work. Okay, I think uh, probably I should uh, stop here, uh, start uh, summarizing here, but uh, we have also done, uh, extended this, uh, this, this to uh, the, the case where the kernel changes o o over time. Let me, let me just uh, skip this part. Okay, so in this uh, slide, uh, I want to uh, make some, some conclusions. So in this work, we uh, propose to use some uh, determinant of a, of a matrix to uh, take into account the, 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 the diversity in reinforcement learning and, and time series learning. And in, in the examples in, in this talk, we just, uh, uh, so I just uh, hand, used hand-crafted features. But this, uh -huh, this, uh, these fe features that is used in, in this uh, determinant of, of LX can, be, uh, can also be learned with a uh, deep, deep, deep network li like this. And in, in conventional deep, deep, deep networks, we, we, use, uh, we usually use softmax lay layer when we want a stochastic uh, uh, output. But uh, this, stochastic, uh, this uh, sto softmax layer just uh, essentially ignores the, the diversity that could be uh, taken into account in, uh, when we use the, the, uh, the determinant. In particular, when this uh, kernel L is uh, diagonal, it, 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 is essentially, uh, uh, it is essentially reduced to a softmax layer. layer. So, uh, so determinant layer uh, <coughs> generalizes a softmax layer taking by, by and take, take, takes into account the diversity. So these are the re references. So determinant of salsa is in, in this paper, which is uh, now un under submission, and uh, the review is due to tomorrow. And uh, this paper uh, extends this uh, workshop paper, which is uh, on, which you can find on online. Uh, so this is a, a time series paper, and the last paper is about a sucker, and uh, it takes uh, it. Uh, we study the diversity in s in a slightly dif different perspective. Thank you very much. Time for questions or comments. Yeah. Uh, thank you. Um, for your, um, in your first example, you said that your, your, the, the experience, something, you learned something about your features. Uh, but uh, how do your features um, evolve over, like, you said it was V of X, but you said you initialized it to, like, binary, uh, like, <coughs> 0, 1 to the 21, you said for the first example. Yeah, you said here you learned something about the VX, but how is VX defined? How does VX is learned? I thought you were specifying it. I think you were specifying your features, but maybe you learned that. Yes. So this is uh, the definition. So VX, v, v is just uh, an arbitrary matrix. So what is important is how, how I defined the feature ve vector. Mm -hmm. And this is our feature vector. The feature vector is the, the feature feature vector of state action pair is the, the next state, and the next state can be uh, represented by a binary vector. Uh, so this is a 
So in this case, there, there are three ones. So 21st dimensional vector containing three ones. In it. That's the, our feature vector. So, so what do you mean by, by what is that actually in, in terms of uh, um, oh, yeah. like, do, do you learn the next action? This so we, we learn this. Uh, so we learn the action value function. You using LX or LL or equivalent to V. So, um, yeah. So. <coughs> yeah, so, 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 and this, uh, and the action value function de depends on the, the quality and the similarity that we have learned. Mm -hmm. And if the, the position, so if the uh, agents are in the position that, are, that have a uh, high, high quality, and if the, the, those positions are not similar to each other, then we assign high value to those set of uh, actions. Uh, okay, so maybe your relevance uh, evolves like uh, over like the relevance of an action evolve. Mm, but not do the similarity mm. between actions evolve. Uh, not for, for so do, during learn, uh, learning it evolves o over time, yeah, okay. but uh, yeah, but uh, when it converges, it doesn't <laughs> for for this particular task. But but for the next uh, example uh, where we talk about the partially observable okay, observable environment. The, the the kernel changes o over time. Okay. Cool. Maybe another question. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, so w when uh, later you said that you had uh, n k to the three a complexity of something, mm -hmm. but it involves to know the eigenvalues, and I guess it's because you yes. you enforce your uh, your uh, d to be uh, diagonal, so that's why you you don't have this uh, high cost. Like here, yeah. Yes. Yeah, so, so th this uh, standard sampling algorithm first do uh, eigen decomposition mm -hmm. and then uh, choose uh, some of the uh, eigenvalues according to sampleable di distributions mm -hmm. and then do a uh, gram schmidt mm -hmm. things repeatedly. So that's the kind of uh, algorithm. Okay, so we are a bit behind the time. So let's thank the speaker again and then move on to the next talk.